The action continues here from the Calville Fieldhouse in Mingila with your Guam Basketball Association Game of the Week. Jason Silas and Dave Delgado with the call and happy to do so because we have had a fantastic game thus far for the first three quarters as the Sushi Rockets have a four-point lead over the Auto Spot Phoenix Suns who will not let them just pull it away as Irv Jose starts off the game with a three-point shot. Oh, the refs are going to say his foot was on the line. That was a two, so it's 56 to 50. And Jose with the rebound as here comes the lightning quick. Here's Jose again off the mark. A little, little short on that shot as Vince Estella skies for the rebound. And good defense that time by James Stake. And inside, Thomas Russ back into the game and using his physical size to an advantage. Eight point lead now. Sushi Rockets going on another one. This is not, Dave, what the auto spot team needs because when these Sushi Rockets go on a run, they are really hard to stop. Romeo Sanchez with another take Drawing contact for the foul. And the score should be 58-52. Because that wasn't that was an and one play, so scoreboard still shows 58-50 as Rashawn Blas. Shot altered by Ali Bradley. Yep, so score is And Dave, the Sushi Rockets really need Rashawn Bradley to be as aggressive as he was in the first half and, you know, really show the leadership he did because he really got them ahead. Yeah, and like I said earlier, you know, Rashawn's brother, Joe Bloss, um, playing basketball in New Zealand. And right on cue. Yeah, kind of what's the difference between Rashawn's game and Joe's game? Well, Joe's a little bit more finesse with his shots. Nice take there by Spencer Ross. Yeah, Joe, I, Joe's, a little, Joe's a little bigger and a little leaner. Yeah, and then I, I just think that he's a little bit more accurate on a three-point shooting. Speaking of accurate, there's a beautiful shot by Kirk Long, the point guard. And Long with the rebound, but that was a foul called on number 22. Brian Cooper. And Irv Jose, who has been very good from downtown. No call there by the refs. Julius Yu giving it up to Dominic Sablon, who drives. And Kirk Long complaining on the way down, said he was clearly hit, but the refs either didn't see it or thought it was all ball. And Sablon goes to the charity stripe with his team down 62-54. His shooting style is also very, very unique, Dave, because, you know, because of his size and because he's normally shooting over guys that are much taller than him. Look at the, he puts those really nice rainbows, but he is one of the best shooters we have in our league. Yeah, he has a lot of arc on his shots. Set play for James Stake.
And Kirk Long trying to get James Steak back into the flow of things. Steak is one of the Sushi Rock uh, really dependable shooters. And Julius Yu now with the ball. He's been quiet. James Steak with a nice move going to the left hand and tactically getting over the much taller 99, Bradley. Eight-point lead now by the Sushi Rockets. And Bradley thought he had contact, but no calls by the ref. Lead pass to Jose, who uses his body and gets a friendly kiss off the glass. 66-56 as Irv Jose puts his team up 10 with 6.16 left to go in the ball game. Now that was a good timeout called by the Phoenix squad. You know, talk to the guys, settle them down, telling them probably don't let the game get out of hand. And you know, Dave, at the time we're taping this, it's, it's been a very, very interesting day in Guam sports. There's been so much stuff going on this weekend. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, the volleyball uh, tournament at the GFA field. Now, that was something new that the Guam Volleyball Federation has been trying to do because at the GFA field, there's a beach a soccer court mm -hmm. that uses this special sand that was uh, brought in and imported. And if I'm not mistaken, it was like... Uh, tens of thousands of dollars because this type of sand, I, I believe, I don't know if it was from China, but it doesn't really stick onto your body like normal sand. That, that's, so, that's AVP, Association of Volleyball Players. That's, that's tournament level sand because, of course, on Guam, we, you know, the sand we have at our beaches is basically like ground up coral that wears yeah. it. And as a volleyball player, I can tell you that is not good sand for jumping. Yeah. Well, and, and the sand that they're playing on, that's, you know, like I said, it's a, it's a beach soccer court, but uh, they were able to put two nets up and have a, a youth volleyball tournament for the kids so um you know john kramer said it himself that it allows kids to kind of help their game out if they're indoor players the workout allowing them to elevate and work their legs a lot more julius you pull up three he's good and julius you who is always a dangerous shooter whenever he leaves his feet Seven-point lead for the Sushi Rockets as Long draws contact. And while we're on the subject of other sports, uh, make sure to check out Smoke and Wheels weekend next weekend, Friday. Yep. That's going to be Friday through Sunday. So uh, make sure uh, to head down to the uh, raceway track in Jigo for a lot of action uh, this weekend or next weekend, actually. Lumpkin outside. Long with the three. Long gets his own rebound. And he's going to get – Jose thought about the three, but then nice pickpocket play by number 22, Brian Cooper. Good defense by James Stake. We'll tell you about some other history being made in Guam sports as Kirk Locked Long there. hit the deck. And frenetic play inside is turnovers back and forth as Cooper goes to the hole and draws the contact. Call that foul on number six, Irv Jose. Is, you know, Dave, today at, at the time we're taping this, today was the uh, Guam International Marathon. History yep. was made today because they had the most participants ever to take place in a Guam, to participate in the Guam International Marathon, 3,244 runners. Yeah, they had a, a record-breaking marathon runner too uh broke the previous record yep. set for the marathon and i think that the previous like three or four years the winner was uh from scotland i believe a, a woman who came over from scotland well, you know what was good today too is united airlines stepped up and right before every race they raffled off a free round trip ticket to anywhere in asia they that they fly so it was their kind of way of uh giving back to the runners and uh there were a couple of uh off-island japanese and and other uh, off-island runners that were able to win that trip, you know. So uh, United Airlines really doing something good for uh, the running community today. And, yep. and in general, Big just for, of island athletics. Yeah, exactly. 
As for the current event and current moment, it is the Sushi Rockets now with a six-point lead. You know, auto spots been clawing back and clawing back, but then it seems like the Rockets force a turnover. They get an easy layup. They hit a big three. They play team defense. They go back. They're just not letting these guys back into the game. Well, basketball is one of those games where if you could just keep it close and somebody could catch fire, you just feed them and uh, – They'll just keep draining shot after shot. James White checking back in for the Sushi Rockets. And he's one of those guys that he's a, uh, a really high-paced, high high-energy type player. Yep. And White looking like he was trying to get ISO on that play. And White working against the much smaller Dominic Sablon. White from the baseline, nice shot. He's done that a couple times already. Sixty-eight to sixty, and James White has a younger brother. I believe he's a freshman at St. Paul, and he's one of these basketball players that, within the next few years, he's going to really make a name for himself. Yeah, the St. Paul athletic program has really come a long way. They're very good, very good volleyball program, very good basketball program. And uh, James White, a graduate of Guam High School. Who is also a very good football player, correct? Yep. Yep. Bradley, nice trap defense. And Cooper can't hit inside. Estella, the three-point shot. Short is nice pass by White ahead to Bloss. And James White, the spark off the bench for Gino Han's Sushi Rockets. 10-point lead. And rebound by Daryl Lumpkin because we got 340 left to go. And if that was a stat we could look at is rebounds, it would probably end in uh, Sushi Rockets' uh, favor. 335 and left in the fourth quarter. Kirk Long got a little bit of a love tap from behind. And White, clock running out. Another rebound by the Rockets offensively. Reset the shot clock. Nice take. Oh, and... Lumpkin hits the hits the deck hard, but he pops right up. That was that was interesting because he went up and got the rebound, then basically came straight down on his side. And that's the lucky thing about basketball players; they don't weigh that much, so they're <laughs> able to take a hit like that and uh, kind of bounce back up from it. I don't know when Gao comes in. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna Gal looks to be about like what, maybe 190, maybe 200. No, no, yeah, he, he's probably got to be like 240. He's a big dude. Yeah. No. Rashawn Bloss with another bucket. And Gino Hans Club. The the other thing about that, we've called so many different guys' names on this club. They're a very, very deep team, and he can use use so many different lineup configurations. Well, with uh, under three minutes left to play, Rashawn Bloss with 19 points for the Sushi Rockets. Spencer Ross pull up three, no good from the corner. Ali Bradley with another rebound, spin move. And Lumpkin with the rebound as here comes Kirk Long. Whoops. And once again, we have the largest lead of the game, 12 points, 72-60. In favor of the gentleman who, as you said, Dave, may go out for sushi after this. Yeah. We might have to ask him, hey, man, where you guys going after this? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Kirk Long short on the shot. He has been one of the stars of this Sushi Rockets team. Largest lead of the game now, 13 points, 73 to 60. As Vincestella was setting a back pick for 
Bradley, and Bradley throws it away. Looking to feed Spencer Ross, but just a little bit out of position. Yeah, I think Bradley Bradley thought he was throwing, throwing him to a corner for a corner three, but Ross looked like to cut inside. White knifing his way to the hole. Nicely done, 15 point lead. As the Rockets pouring it on here with two minutes and change left to go in the ball game. This is definitely when time's against you. It's not in your favor. Three point shot right here by Bradley, no good. And the Sushi Rockets really making a name for themselves as the team to beat here in the Guam Basketball Association. Well, you know, Bradley really struggling. Only four points um, coming from all free throws here in the second half. Shot clock winding down, long air ball. And timeout called smartly by head coach Jin Han. I wonder if we're gonna see Jin come in the game, you know, for some uh, garbage time. Yeah, I really doubt it. I think he's <laughs> gonna let these guys play it out. You know, Jin Han kind of like, you know, changed the point guard position in, in Guam basketball because of course you know your point guard typically you it's your fastest guy and it's your court leader so typically that would be reserved for like your smallest guy Gino Han's about six six two yeah it's a very 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 long arms very big wingspan kind of like almost like what Jalen Rose did in, in the NBA like you know like we never really saw a six eight point guard before I thought you were describing me <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, Jin, he, he's an excellent three point shooter too. So he's one of those guys you definitely got to uh, keep your eye out for and, and really guard him because if he slips around a couple screens and sets up for a three, he, he's going to knock it down. Yeah, and it was, you know, tall guys before they just said, okay, if you're 5'9 if you're and over, you have to play center on Guam. Yep. But now, now, and over the line penalty on auto spot. Uh, backcourt called, I believe, uh, Dave. Yep. 75 to 60. As we've got 90 seconds left to go in this contest. And Sushi Rock just keeps attacking as Bloss with a long three. Beautiful stroke for Rashawn Bloss. A statement shot. And Gao into the game. And Rashawn Gao play like elbows over the rim. Rashawn playing like he's trying to play for a contract. <laughs> nice ball movement. Brian Cooper drew the defense outside and then went, then went inside to Spencer Ross. 16-point lead for the Sushi Rockets with 101 left to go. I don't know what's up with these kind of timeouts with this big of a lead. Do you just want to call a timeout to allow your opponents to look at the scoreboard? <laughs> Oh, there you go. You called it. Yep, Jino Han taking <laughs> off the warm-ups. <laughs> yeah, looks like he's going to get in there for three. Hey, you know, what? when you run the team, you know, you can call your own number. So the question is, who is Jino Han going to come in for? You know, yeah. I mean, again, you know, and not making light of the situation, with his size and with his speed, he could basically play, like, he could play the one, he could play the two, or he could even play the three. Well, he's probably calling the next three possessions. Guys, kick it out to me. <laughs> Iso All on three me. times. And so Jin Han comes in for Kirk Long and also in the game for the Sushi Rockets, number 21, Merwin Martin. JFK standout, up. former JFK player. Right there. As is Jin Han. And Han with the game, Han with the three. Gao with the rebound and Gao with the bucket, <laughs> 80 to 62. It almost went as they drew it up. Yep. So Jin Han, uh, I guess we could call that an assist for him, right, for the yep. coach? And White with a head of steam, but nice defensive play there by auto spot number 31, John Baza. Big shot there by the young player. Twenty-three seconds left to go 
into the game. And these may be the final seconds of the game, but, you know, these guys are still playing all out, Dave. Well, you do want to leave everything out there on the line, so you got to keep grinding it out no matter the score. And, you know, it's all about stats. You can pick up any kind of points now. <laughs> Guys playing for, you know, highest scoring average or most minutes. Long three-point shot by Baza. And, of course, congratulations to the new uh, Hall of Fame class for the basketball, Allen Iverson, one AI. of the inductees. Yep. And, <laughs> and Rashawn Blas drawing a laughter from his team as... Bradley trying to get contact. Juno Han with the oh, long three. So Gino calling his own number to come into the, the game. Juno Han goes 0 for 2, both from three-point shot, but smiles all around the side of Sushi Rock as they have a dominant fourth quarter and pull away at the end, and they win the game 82 to 65 to win our GBA game of the week. Please stay tuned, everybody, as you watch these sportsmanship all around as the crowd starts to file out of the UOG Cavill Fieldhouse because Dave and I will have final thoughts when we come back. Post-game report right after this.